This week on The Ross Report, I traveled to Gainesville to visit with Greg Troy's pro group at the University of Florida. The group is comprised of a small number of world-class athletes, including Caleb Dressel, Jan Sitkowski, and Mark Ceranek, who all won individual NCAA titles for the Florida Gators in their careers. All three of them exhausted their eligibility for the Gators in 2018. Head coach Greg Troy also announced his retirement from coaching the undergrad team in 2018, but stuck around to coach the pro group. Jan, Caleb, and Mark talked about how it has been continuing to swim under Troy as professionals now. I'm happy for him right now with him recently retiring from collegiate swimming. He's like a new man on deck. He's happier, he's less stress. He's fully invested in us and he's committed and it shows, so I'm excited to be with him and I hope to be with him until he ends his career. Similar to what it's been like, apart from it's just much more focused. Spends more time with each of us individually. We get to tweak practices a little bit more instead of it being more generic. So how is swimming in a pro group this year as compared to being on the college team a year ago? It's changed a lot since college. There's the, the group uh, has gotten uh, way smaller. I think it's a little bit easier to train in a group like this because Troy can uh, focus a little bit more on the details and uh, we are very uh, highly motivated. I mean, I've swam with all these guys in college, so we're all just a bunch of bad boys trying to get better at swimming. It shows every day in practice. I feel like we compete really well and we just want to get better together. It's different, but I like it right now. We've got everything we need and the guys get after it in practice every day. The competition between us is still there. And obviously when there's 30 guys there's always competition. Between me, Jan, Tom now who come in from South Carolina, Caleb and the rest of the other guys, there's always, uh, there's always someone that's on it. Uh, so there's always someone to race. Last season, Caleb, Jan and Mark were a part of the famous 200 free relay that won Florida its first NCAA title in the event. Dressel lit up the pool with the first ever 17 second 50 free from a flat start on the leadoff leg and the Gators held on to win the race out of NC State and Cal. Well Coach Troy had a thing where he just loved to stick me on the anchor. I rose to the occasion every time as well, I would like to thank. But I was pretty I was pretty scared on that one. Not only because I, I didn't want to lose the relay, but I didn't want to DQ it either and lose the first ever 17 second 50 freestyle on the leadoff, you know? That was what was going through my mind as I was on the block. I just didn't want to DQ, but I really didn't want to get beat. Yeah, that relay was something special. You know, we knew we had a shot. Every day we came into practice, we looked at the note above Enzo's locker that said 200 free relay NCAA champs, and then it was nice to finally make that come true. Seeing it actually come to life in person and you know seeing the number one next to UF it was something really special. Oh, it meant a lot. It was my first NCAA title and to be able to have done that with uh, some of my closest friends. It's kind of funny, you know, Mark's known as an IMer, Jan's known as like a two-flyer IMer, and then me and Enzo are really the only true sprinters on that relay, so. But it was, it was special, it's something I'll remember the rest of my life. Spent four years with Caleb, four years with Enzo, and three years with Jan after he came in. Uh, and we just, we grew really close. I mean, we're spending a lot of time with each other every day. And that was, uh, that was a really special one to share that moment. A lot of pride in that relay, but it was really just looking over, seeing Steve and seeing Troy, seeing how happy they were. It's really just all about the team aspect, especially with college and then winning the fastest relay at the meet and doing it in style. It was a pretty awesome thing. Like I said, I'm not ever gonna forget that moment, reaching over to hug Enzo, then hug Jan, and then Mark finally getting out of the water and coming over to hug everybody. It was, it was special. Later on that Thursday night in Minnesota, Jan and Mark were in the 2 IM final and had a chance to go 1-2. Mark was the co-champion the year before, and Jan seemed due for his first individual NCAA title. Jan ended up winning the 2 IM, while Mark finished in third as he won the Gators' ninth NCAA title in the event. Joining the likes of Marcin Chislak, Bradley Alley, Ryan Lochte, Greg Burgess, and Martin Zabero as Gator greats in the event. And then we just wanted to continue that tradition with me, Caleb, and Jan. Thankfully, Caleb didn't swim at NC, so that would have been uh, interesting. I cut my warm-up warm down a little short to go watch him finish the race, but I remember him turning to the last ball. I was like, he's going to win this. And then sure enough, that's his first. Everyone just starts going crazy because that was Jan's first individual win. And everybody loves Jan. He's a good guy, good teammate. So it was really awesome to see that. Yeah, so I cut my warm-up short but it was worth it. It was worth it to see that. Oh, I was happy for him. Obviously, I would like to do it myself, but if anyone else was gonna win it, I'm happy it was Jan. The Gators did end up going 1-2 in the next night in the 100 fly, with Dressel leading the way with another barrier-breaking swim of 42.80, while Svitkowski snuck into second place. We knew we had a shot about at that. Uh, I ruined with Jan every NCAAs. You know, it was in the back of our heads. We knew it could be done. We know Jan's a night swimmer. And the first thing I looked for was, uh, when I touched the wall, was to see if Jan got second. I, I knew I knew I won, but I wanted to see if Jan got second. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, now I can celebrate. But it was a truly special moment to share with my roommate and teammate, and I still I still room with them till this day. It was definitely surprising. I don't think I ever did 100 flight at NCs before that. 
you know, it doesn't really bother me to get second to Caleb. So it was like a, a very small victory for me. Yeah, but it was awesome to, uh, to stand on the podium with him. Uh, now yeah, he's my roommate and my uh, training partner. In any time your teammates go 1-2, it's a special moment. I've just Some of my best memories are watching my teammates succeed in the pool. Who knows, we might have went 1-2-3 if I had done it. <laughs> Although I doubt that very much. Caleb, Jan, and Mark are also very close friends, and the three really feed off each other in practice because of it. The Florida Pro Group is full of world-class athletes, so in what specific ways do they help each other out? Caleb helps me, helps me out a lot because he drives me to practice every morning because I don't have a parking pass. <laughs> they push me. They beat me every day, as you saw. Um, they don't make it easy for me in practice. I hope they never will. They can keep up with me on all the sprint stuff, beat me most of the time in the sprint stuff, and then the longer end, I got something to work towards, so it's really nice having them around. Practice is always fun. We like to keep it light whenever we can because uh, it gets pretty rough at times. As any swimmer would know, practice is hard. It's the way it always is. But I just, I like spending time with those guys. We make each other better. I usually train with Mark a little bit more because he's on the, uh, on the longer end of practices. So just being able to compete with him and you know, train with him is always uh, very hard to beat, very motivated. Caleb just uh, keeps it easy, you know, he's a very easygoing person, uh, he's always in a good mood. He helps me out with the mental side of training. Caleb, Jan, and Mark are pushing towards the 2019 World Championships later this summer, and eventually the 2020 Olympics. And if their relaxed attitudes and tight camaraderie can give the results like they did in 2018, then the future is certainly bright for the Gainesville Pro Group. Yeah, I don't really remember. Mark, did we talk about going 1-2 in 2 a.m.? Did we talk about going 1-2 in 2 a.m.? Yeah, and then I messed it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we, should, uh, maybe we should start cutting warm. Maybe we should all just start cutting warm-ups a little shorter. That might be it. Yeah. I remember doing the same thing. Yeah, junior, I remember doing the same thing to watch uh, Mark's last one as well. Yeah, I need to start cutting my warm down shorter.